actually flew up there and uh, equipped the 516 Fighter Squadron of the Vietnamese Air Force. The aircraft to the Tomorrow Aviation Museum and it operated for a number of years before the guys completely rebuilt it. Now, this aircraft is absolutely brilliant in its, um, in its rebuild. Every placard, every stencil, everything is done exactly as it would have been in the day. See Mark has uh, landed the A-30. Well ladies and gentlemen, just before they try and sneak off, just put your hands together for Riley Payne and for Dave Solder for that great demonstration in the T6 slash Harvard. We won't put you on the hook. known as the Tomahawk or the Kitty Hawk, the War Hawk. It was actually designed from another Curtis aeroplane. That was the P-36, the Hawk. Now that aircraft had a radial engine, 1,200 horsepower. So what they did is they... The original Allison engines were quite streamlined. They had a very long reduction gearbox and that is the gearbox that takes the power from the crankshaft through. Rolls-Royce Griffin, the Merlin about 27 litres capacity, the Griffin about 35, but they rotated in opposite directions. First floor in 1936, 
went into squadron service in 1938 with number some uh, 20,300 of these produced and there were also 2,300 of the navalised version called the Seafire operating from carriers. There are eight different versions of the Seafire including the final marks they had uh, wings that folded. And at that time, one of the engineers from Rolls-Royce pondered the thought about what it would be like with a Rolls-Royce Merlin in it. So they modified five of these Mustangs, put the Merlins in, and the results were spectacular. That information went back to North American Aviation, and they started to produce the P-51B and uh, the rest is basically history. It increased the range of the aircraft, allowed them to go to, um, to Berlin and back with the bombers, the fighter with the seven league boots. Six 50 caliber machine guns. He could carry a, a 1,000 pound bomb under each wing or drop tanks, but it could also carry a combination of drop tanks, air-to-ground rockets, five-inch diameter, the American ones, or 60-pound warheads if you're using the British ones, but it was its long range that really made its mark, said the fighter with the seven-league boots, and uh, used in the Pacific as well for what they called the VLR, the Very Long Range Missions based on uh, Iwo Jima, lost 25 aircraft to bad weather. The very last... And he was able to prove that he shot down the two aircraft and he was made the last ace of World War II in about... That absolutely unmistakable elliptical wing plan form of the Spitfire. Put your hands together for Mark Skidmore skates and that great demonstration in the A37, the Dragonfly. Mate, from the mighty Parrot to the Dragonfly. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? The Parrot sort of lands at about 60 knots and the Dragonfly doesn't get anywhere near flight. 650 of these operated by the Royal Australian Air Force in the Pacific, mostly uh, the E. Because Bobby Gibbs famous for um, flying the Tomahawk. And the Mustang was actually designed as a little bit of an accident in the United States to assist them because they realised that their manufacturing could be bombed out by the Germans. So they went over to North American Aviation, 